Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be kind of showing you and answering a question that I get fairly often and one that I've just seen pop up pretty often just not kind of as a general question for a lot of cars and that's how to install the front lip onto your car now of course as you guys probably know um, I own this 2018 Honda Civic the 10th generation um, so this video will be a little bit no that car specific but the good thing is that basically these steps are going to translate to helping you put a front lip on pretty much any car uh, you know maybe not some like a high-end supercar or something but pretty much any other kind of car like this if you want to put a front lip on you can do these steps so in a second here quickly I'll show you how to properly jack up the car um, and then I'll grab my lip we'll put it on I'll go through the process try to keep the video a little bit short just kind of answer that quick question so yeah let's jump right into it so of course the first step to doing anything like this is to jack up your car as I just mentioned so, um, if you're not sure where the jack points are on your car, I would obviously recommend, you know, check your owner's manual because it's going to tell you exactly where they are. But, for the sake of this video, um, on most cars, um, your jack points, whether it's front or rear, are going to be just behind the wheels. So, I'll show you on the Civic, and the good thing is with the Civic, no, this goes for all models, not just the sedan. So if we come down here under the car, you might notice you know, on the bottom of the frame, there's this little piece of metal here that kind of juts out from the body and that's your jack point. Again, it's a solid piece of metal that's attached right to the frame so you can easily lift up the car. You're not gonna worry about having to crack any plastic or damaging anything else under the car. So just get your jack under here or you know, if you're gonna jack up the car and put it on jack stands, that's where you would place the jack stands. Now one thing of note, there is kind of another place to jack up the car in the front. Um, it's right kind of behind with the oil pan. It's a little bit far back. The front jacking point, it's a little bit hard to get to for reference sake, you know, on, especially on the Honda Civic. Um, it's kind of really far back. It's almost right under where the gear shifter would be, whether you have you know, an automatic or a manual. So it's a little bit awkward to get to unless you, know, you kind of have a really long jack. But there is a jack point there. But as I mentioned, the best thing to do is hit that jack point just behind your front wheels and again you no know, it's the same story on the back you know you'll see that same little piece of metal that kind of juts out and you can easily jack up at the back of your car and one other important note before you actually do jack up a car if you're going to be doing it yourself here on your driveway you always want to make sure you kind of reinforce the back wheels with something chalk them just so they don't go away you know whether it's i'm just using a little brick here you can use a little you know, cement block of brick or if you have an actual wheel chalk use that but again you always want to put something behind the back wheels here just to make sure that you know um, obviously if you're gonna jack up your car you want to make sure your parking brake is on so that kind of locks the back wheels but just in case you know, anything should go wrong the brakes fail or anything like that you want to make sure you have something behind the back wheels your car just doesn't go kind of flying away rolling down your driveway or wherever you are and either you know hurt somebody hurt yourself so yeah one tip make sure you always chalk your back wheels before you jack up your car all right guys so now you can see the car has been jacked up there's no space for me to get under there comfortably to attach the lip and now we're going to go ahead and put it on now um, i'm going to have a little bit of an easier time than maybe you will watching this uh, because of course the lips already been on my car so i already have holes on there so all i'm going to do is line up the holes basically from where they were originally but in order to start off um you want to get a friend to help you so but basically all you want to do is you want to start in your corner you know make sure everything is completely mounted flushly you know do a dry fit before if you will just so you see exactly how it's going to mount make sure there's no gaps or anything sticking out and yeah i would say start in both corners you know make sure you drill the corners in first make sure it's flat and smooth do the other side and then you can go ahead and kind of do all along the middle so um i don't know how much of that i'll be able to film as i mentioned i'm going to just get um actually my mom to come out and give me a hand just to hold it because you know you try to do it by yourself you try to hold one end you get one end in by the time you go and do the other side this side is going to fall and it's, it's just not fun so yeah you always want to kind of do a dry test fit first just show you guys kind of what that's going to look like and you see on my car here it's not 100 percent perfect but you can kind of generally see where the lines of the lip are going to follow of course any lip you buy is going to be obviously kind of pre-measured to fit exactly on whatever car you have so keep that in mind that it should be a pretty easy fit for this um, install i'm using these screws here they're an eight by eight by one inch uh, they have a quarter inch head and kind of the more important thing 
is that they're self-drilling uh, or self-tapping screws. You want those, obviously, because then you don't have to worry about extra washers or anything like that. And with them being self-tapping, they'll kind of seat themselves, they'll hold on, and really, unless you try to intentionally rip off the front lip, it's not going to go anywhere. All right, guys, so you can see I have the lip installed now. I'm sorry I didn't film more. Um, I ran into a couple snags, but as you can see, everything is mounted nice and flush. There's no panel gaps, and it's on there nice and strong. So all I did was I took a drill. You know, again, I had pre-existing holes on my car from having it on last year, but what you want to do is just line it up so that it matches up along the entire width of the front of the car and then either drill into your pre-existing holes or gently drill up into your bumper until the screw catches and you're good to go. Now the only thing left to do now is safely lower the jack, get the car back on the ground and we'll go take it for a quick test drive just to make sure that you know your lip doesn't completely fall off as you're just going down the road. Alright everyone and just to quickly show you um, how I did the screws here you can see I have kind of a bunch in the corner um, to support the weight there um, and then you know I just kind of follow along across the whole rest of the lip um, you might notice that the screws aren't exactly in a straight line um, by putting them at a bit of an angle you know across the bottom of the lip it gives it um, a, the ability to be a, have, be a bit more flexible you know all quite in a straight line and you know it just helps to strengthen a little bit rather than all being in one straight line you know in the event maybe that it was to catch on something then you know you're more likely to maybe only lose a couple of screws than maybe an entire section or the entire thing all at once so there you go guys that's kind of just a quick um quick little show of what the screws look like underneath the bottom of the lip there we go so you can see the lip is fully mounted back on the car the car is lowered back to its proper height on all four wheels on the ground um and once again i apologize i didn't really film actually myself drilling the lip on again i ran into a couple little uh, snags I wasn't anticipating but once again no as long as you have the car safely jacked up you can get under there and again if you have pre-existing holes like I did try to line them up either drill them back in or you know if you want to go by hand hand tighten them or again if it's your first time putting the lip on um, then yeah go ahead and safely get under there you know find out where you want to drill the holes into and then go ahead and drill the lip in but uh, once again I was gonna take it for a quick drive make sure everything's good but that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Um, if you enjoyed it, hopefully you guys learned a little something. And once again, I know, you know, it was kind of, seemed a little bit specific to my car. But trust me, if you use this process for any kind of car you're trying to put a front lip on, um, it's going to work. Just, of course, make sure, obviously, you pick a lip that you like and one that is properly made for your specific vehicle, whatever that is. And, yeah, go ahead, drill it on there, have fun. And um, once again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.